and the better hair. I caught my first tagged fish. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Max Stream River Fishing Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk about something uh, that I love to do in the spring. I, I always chase in the runs, the shad run, um, the white bass run. But one of my favorite things to do is the striper run. Now these stripers I'm talking about come out of the ocean. They run up the rivers to spawn. In North Carolina they can run up much as 125 miles to get to the first dam. They all don't go to the, you know, the first dam, um, but a lot of them do make it that far. This is mostly shallow water fishing. Um, I'll talk about what I like to throw when they're down deep, which usually is early. And then before the spawn, when they spawn, they spawn on top. The female gets on top, lays eggs on the very top. The males get around her and thrash around her, fertilize eggs, and that's called a rock fight. We call them rock fish here in North Carolina. Um, you can use these lures and tactics anywhere on the East Coast when they run up river and shallow rivers. You can also use them anywhere where they're landlocked in a river and they run up into a river on a fault spawning run or there's 10 lakes I think in North America that have real spawning runs. They have to have 50 miles of flowing water for the eggs to float downstream. If it's 40 miles or 30 miles, the eggs hit the bottom. Uh, they don't stay suspended and they suffocate. But anyway, this start when they're on the bottom. Um, I like throwing a butter bean bucktail. We call it a butter bean bucktail because the head looks like a butter bean. It's usually a half or three quarter white or chartreuse is good i like sassy shaz and a lot of companies make these they're just sw plastic swim baits this is a four inch one you can use six inch ones um i usually like lighter colors than that um couldn't find my lighter ones though um put these on a half or three quarter ounce head um you can chuck them a long ways too get them on bottom one of my favorites for the bottom it's a swimming fluke. Now you can rig these weedless and work them up top or a weighted, you know, like EWG hook, but I like putting these on a half ounce head, fishing them on bottom. That's really good. Now let's switch gears and go to top water. Um, and then we'll go to the medium depth plugs. Top water, when, when the fish get on top, after the spawn, they feed heavy. You can catch them on top, but during the spawn, when they're having the rock fights, you can catch them in the rock fights too. Um, this is my box of striper plugs. I don't take this with me. Well, I do take it with me. I usually leave it in the car or truck, and I take what I need out of it and put it in the canoe or john boat since I don't have big boats. Um, top water, I've had really good luck throwing this right in the middle of a rock fight. It's a magnum paw bar. That's really good. Uh, let's see if we can find the other one. A lot of these are tangled. Well, this is hooked to a Cordell spot. A big Cordell spot, there it is. That's a, a magnum chug bug. That's really good. I like the magnum pop bar better, but the chug bug casts a little farther. It's pretty good. One of my favorites too, is the bomber walkie talkie favorite for top water that's pretty good i've caught a lot of fish on this looks like a zero spook you work it like a zero spook i like it a little better than a spook um but i'm pretty sure that's a walkie talkie by bomber um that's a good one now i get to the plugs that i like to throw now i'm talking when i throw these plugs i'm usually in 10 foot of water or less um and these fish will come up and hit it these plugs aren't going to dive 10 foot but um, you don't want to use a deep diving plug in most of these rivers. You'll get hung up a lot. Um, Cotton Cordell Red Fin is a classic. Absolute classic. You can twitch it on top. Then you can reel and pause, reel and pause. Well, it's a jerk bait too. You can jerk it, pause, jerk it, and pause. But I like to do about three reels and pause. Also, what's really good, right before dark, you can cast this out, twitch it a couple of times. If you don't get a hit, reel it slow just under the water i mean just barely under the water and it pushes a wake it makes a good wake it's, it's really known for making that wake they love that 
I've got some more red fins in here, but the red fins are classic. It's not my favorite though. At the end, I'm gonna show you my three favorite plugs. This big Rebel, I think this is a nine inch Rebel, is really good. Uh, let's see. I like bombers. Bombers are really good. I like I like the the red fins better than bombers though. Um, there's another black and silver rebel. The other one's a blue and silver that I showed you. There's another smaller red fin. I think that's a five and a half inch red fin. But this other one was like seven or seven and a half or maybe more. Um, like I said, red fins are good. I've showed you some Rebels. Get these untangled. There's another bomber. That might be my favorite color in the bomber. Right there. Now this is a Bill swim bait. Hard swim bait. I really like those. They tear these up. Those are good. Really like those. I've got some smaller ones as well. Um, now let's get to my other box. Now this box is what I take with me in the canoe or John boat or off the bank. Um, got another bomber. This is from my last trip out, what I took. Got another Seville swim bait. Now gold, see, I, gold is really good in eastern rivers with the black water. Um, that's a good color. Here's another red fin. I love this color and this jointed red fin, cotton cordell. Obviously makes a red fin. You can um, twitch and pause this on top and you crank and reel it once nothing, you know, if nothing hits it. Um, so now we're actually getting, I pretty much covered everything except my third, second, and first favorite lures. So we're gonna switch gears from plugs because my third favorite lure for river strivers in Eastern North Carolina is just your regular old fluke on a 5 all EWG hook. Cast it out, you can skip it on top. Plus, in the rivers too, you can skip this. A lot of these stripers um, hug up under branches and roots on the bank during the day. You can skip this under thing. You can get it close without hanging up. A plug, if you cast near a log, you may cast too far to get hung up. 5 all EWG hook with this, kind of weedless. Don't get it hung up. Um, I may have mentioned before these stripers early stay deep then as it gets warmer they come up and then they spawn on top um, and then they get they're hungry after the spawn and then they eventually go back downstream there's a few stripers stay in the river year round uh, but most of them go back downstream live in the, the saltwater sounds or the ocean uh, but the good old fluke regular fluke is my third favorite um, don't get crazy with colors uh, on any of these um, like the flute, about the only colors I use is the pearl and the chartreuse. That right there, 5 alt EWG hook, cast it out, twitch it back. You can put it on top, you can put it, you can actually put this on a jig head too, fish it on the bottom. That's probably my third favorite lure right there in pearl. Okay, everyone, we've gone through a lot of my favorite lures. We got to my third favorite, and we just finished that, which is the fluke. Um, I forgot to tell you, that's, I think, a five-inch fluke. I throw a seven-and-a-half or seven-inch fluke a lot, pearl fluke. You got to get um, a nine-alt or 12-alt. I use a 12-alt um, extra wide gap hook. It's got a weighted um, kill on it. Um, forgot to mention that, but um, I don't throw it a lot. So my third favorite one is still like the five-inch fluke. Um, so let's go to my second favorite and my first one, the very favorite. Um, that was close, um, but one has to come out ahead. Um, my second favorite one is this jointed Rebel right here. It's awesome. You can twitch this on top. You can jerk it like a jerk bait. Like I said before, I reel it three times, pause most of these plugs. Reel three times, pause. Reel three times, pause. Um, like I think I said before, and I'll show you some pictures, I've caught big bass. Uh, big stripers. I think I've even caught a couple of big crappy on this. Okay, guys, my favorite striper lures is getting ready to come up. I'm going to pause here and show you. Uh, you can catch stripers on these. You can look into a big bass every now and then. Any predatory fish is, can happen to hit these. 
um, so in a river you never know what you're going to catch on these lures. Okay, so now my favorite lure. It's also a rebel. It's not joining. It's this old bad boy right here. Gold and black. Gold works well in eastern North Carolina. A lot of these waters are black water stained. Kind of look like tea sometimes. Um, not all the rivers, but a lot of them do. But this gold works really, really well. You got golden shiners in North Carolina, a lot of big ones. Um, that's my favorite one. This is, I think it's the F3002S is the model number on this Rebel. Um, I'll put it right here. Um, they don't make this anymore. It's discontinued. Um, I've been paying $9.99 a piece for these lately. I had one that lasted me years. I used to risk life and limb to go get it. Um, but I finally lost it on the log one day that I couldn't get to the current near it was just too rough to get the boat close to um, So I lost it, but you can still find these as you can see right here I've got plenty of them. There's a couple more here laying on the ground um, If you close of it right there That's my favorite striper lure. Like I said, it'll catch big bass big stripers uh, Jack um, I always have something like this. If you can't find this lure, get something pretty close. Um, but that's the deal. Um, everyone, um, let me know your comments down below. Let me know what you like or didn't like about the video. Let me know your favorite lures, what you like the best. Um, but that's my best right there. Um, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.